We all know why you guys are here. I just want to hear the answer to why military men cheat. So what's up YouTube? So today I want to get into something that um, may be a little bit touchy for someone. So warning now, right? If this is a sensitive topic for you, cut the video now. Don't get into it. But for those who are still here, we're going to get into why in the poll that I've taken myself, why military men cheat. So the answer to why military men cheat could probably be answered in a thousand different ways. But I ran a poll, trust me on that, right? Statistics never lie, I ran a poll, and there's came down to five major areas on why military men cheat. And the first one is location. Second one is dependents cheat as well, dependents being their spouse in this situation. The third is they probably married the girl or guy from their hometown. Fourth, for the BAH, they, that's why they got married, for the BAH, and the marriage is probably not that great of a marriage, probably kind of paper thin. And then the fifth is, honestly, sometimes they just, that's who they are. So the number one factor in the poll that I've taken, right, is probably location, right? When it comes to location, it's kind of multi-pronged when it comes to because location meaning sometimes there's a lot of distance between the service member and their spouse and so there that can kind of create strain on relationships we all know long distance relationships don't work very well you know they can when you have two strong parties but let's be honest we're probably not dealing with that with this case or we wouldn't be making a video on why military men cheat Right. And so there's sometimes there's things that we say a thousand miles. It doesn't really count and stuff like that. Or there's other things about when you're underway that they say in the Navy. I don't know the whole exact phrase. Right. But <laughs> point is, is that distance can put a strain on that relationship and it can cause it. other parts of location. Right. Is we do have certain areas that we get deployed to where you can see that the local population has a type and with us being Americans, we have a very wide range of people that we send places. So for an example, right, because I'm probably rambling a little bit on here, is for African-American males, if you're in Western Europe, right, like Germany, Belgium, places like that, Austria, you're kind of popular, right? Like when I say you, me, I know, I've been there, I've experienced it firsthand for whatever reason, right, which is probably has something to do with rap music. German girls love black men absolutely love there's no if ands or buts about it there's the, a, i can walk into the bar and the girl that i can get in germany is 10 times better than any girl that will ever approach me in the states right in the states i do all the work in germany i just show up have a couple drinks and next thing you know i'm one of the most popular guys in the bar as long as they're not other black guys that i'm competing against so location and there is that for my white counterparts as well for white soldiers when they go to japan and for korea it's kind of the same deal. You always see the weirdest, awkwardest guy and he goes to Korea and somehow he marries the finest Korean girl or the best looking Japanese girl in whatever small town that he's got stationed in, right? So there is that location factor that can have a lot to play into it. There is that stateside too. Like I will say in Colorado, when I was in Colorado Springs, I got a lot, a lot of burn when I was there. When I say burn, like a lot of girls that did like military men. Uh, I was in Georgia. Um, there's a lot of girls in Georgia who like military men. I'm in Florida now. It's not as common. They can kind of care less as well as they kind of have this idea that they think all military men cheat. So it kind of can get a little, make it a little difficult in the places like that. The second reason I, I found on my poll is dependents cheat as well. And so kind of those relationships kind of turn into tick for tat, right? There's Jody. Jody's a real person. He really does exist. And Jody is there to keep your side of the bed warm when you're out on your deployments or when you're out playing soldier, right? When we're out in the rain and we're sleeping in tents and we're on that cot, don't worry. Jody has our back and he is there keeping our spouses warm, right? And so a lot of times I've heard thousands, countless of stories of people coming back from deployments and finding out that their girlfriend or their wife or their boyfriend or whoever it may be was cheating on them <laughs> the whole time they were gone, right? Some of them, I know, they went TDY for a few weeks and then came back and then they were cheating on them, right? So in those cases, right, there's a saying we have in the army, right? If the army didn't issue it to you, you don't need it. And that's what those spouses, those dependents are, right? They're for the streets. They belong, they don't belong to us. They don't have a serial number, right? We don't have them on our clothing record. So that's just how it is. and. 
that may be a big factor in why military men cheat. The third reason, and honestly, it may be the most popular reason why military men cheat, is a lot of times they get married for the BAH, right? And for those who don't know, BAH is basic allowance for housing or basic housing allowance, either way you wanna say it. Um, but, the, but basically that is the money that you get so that you can live in a home, rent and or buy a home. And you don't get that when you're below the rank of staff sergeant or E6 in the army, um, when you're in the army, I'm only talking about the army, other branches you can get a little bit sooner, but when we focus it on the army, if you're lower than the rank of E6, you do not get BAH unless you're married. So it incentivizes those people who wanna get out of the barracks who are of lower rank, those junior rank soldiers, to get married, right? I wanna get a bigger paycheck, I wanna move out of the barracks, you know what I'm saying? I like this girl, this girl likes me, I have to change duty stations, I don't wanna go without them. Get married. Hey, you get a bigger check, right? You get the BAH and you get BAH with dependents, as well as you get to keep the girl that you you liked, you thought you liked, and guys for, for those girl soldiers that are out there. But we're focusing on military men today. I'm a military guy, so I can speak a little bit for us. I can't really speak for military women. But the point that I'm getting to here is those relationships are usually paper thin, probably would never work. And the only reason they're getting married is because one person's gonna get a bigger paycheck, but then don't realize all that money is just gonna go to that marriage that you just took on, right? You're gonna pick up that depend upon them and they're just gonna weigh down your military paycheck that you're getting because it doesn't really get that much bigger. But <laughs> a lot of times people really think that that's gonna make a difference in their financial lives. The fourth reason, and we see it all the time, right, is they got married to the high school sweetheart or the girl from their hometown or some girl they DM'd on Instagram from where they're from and now he's flying her out to wherever they're at now and she realizes that maybe this might be a little bit better of a lifestyle than this small town that I'm from. And then they get married and then they realize like, hey, we're probably learning about each other, we're learning about the military, we're learning about a new location, all at the same time, the relationship gets strained a little bit and then the cheating happens, right? This always, every private that I've seen who has married their high school sweetheart or married the girl that they've been dating for three months before they joined the military and they wanna bring them with them, it always turns into a very difficult marriage. Including, right, which this kind of falls in it, but it's not exact same, those who marry the, the first girl they met at their first duty station. That happens all the time, right? And those relationships are so shallow. Those relationships are always like, the girl never knows what she's really getting into, right? Because she thinks she's marrying you, but she didn't realize she's also marrying the army and you're gonna have to go on TDYs, you're gonna have deployments, you're gonna have trainings. And then next thing you know, she's asking you every day, are you cheating on me when you're over there and all that? And bada boom, bada bing, here we are, right? Watching videos about why military men cheat when honestly he should have never been married to begin with. And the fifth reason, right? <laughs> it's probably the funniest reason is sometimes they just got that dog in them, right? I can't really explain this one because it's not really me, but I've seen it, I've everyone's seen it. Sometimes it's just, they've been hurt that one time, a long time ago, they never got over it, and now they are in a position, right, with being in the army, a lot of girls like army guys, to where they can talk to girls really easily, you can go out with your boys, we're going to a bar, girls gravitate to you, and you know, they are who they are, <laughs> they're just, Got that dog, you know? And I, I, I don't want to excuse it and say that, hey, that's okay, or we're cool with cheating. But that is one of the more difficult things about dating in the military is because you do have those girls who just love military dudes, we call them gate bunnies in some places, or tag chasers, dog tag chasers in, in other cases. And they can kind of, they kind of create an environment for them that kind of make it easy and in a turn kind of incentivize guys like that to cheat right it's hey man we got our chargers we have our sports cards we have consistency we have paychecks i can see why girls like us right why women want to talk to us but there's people who when they get that much power they get that much room they take advantage of it they run with it and roll with it you know and so it, it could be a combination of those other four factors that i put in and you have this one at the end it's gonna be the caveat sometimes those other four factors have nothing to do with it this dude's in a good marriage or a great situation you know outside looking in and you know, maybe he just can't keep it together. But hey, this video was supposed to kind of be a little bit comedic relief of my channel. Um, a lot of my videos are a little bit more serious, so um, I didn't want to do this. It does give you a little insight on dating within the military and not all military men cheat. I do want to add that caveat. I do want to punctuate this video with that. It's actually 
a very small percentage of those who cheat, right? But we're going to focus on the negative because that's just how we are as human nature. But if you did like this video, hit that like and that subscribe button. But until next time, guys, peace.